Now I, I can do a really good solve on the word invincible from the inside. Invincible, you really do pronounce the dead center the strongest. Invincible. God, the I am, is invincible. So look at the math on this. The NC at the dead center, this is so cool, is 17, I am minus 6. And then that's flanked in I's, which will divide by 3. And then that's flanked in VB, 24, which divides by 3. So you got 18, 24. And then um, what's really cool is the other two I am's that come next, the NL is 32 and IE is 14. Well, what's special about that is that they average 23. The one is 23 plus 9. The other one is 23 minus 9. So in the bookends of Invincible... Uh, sorry, sorry, that's not correct. NL is 26, I am plus 3, I apologize. Um, all right, so the whole thing, yeah, triple I am from the inside out. But what does that all come to? So 30, 26 plus 14 is 40, um, plus 17 is 57. Wow, it adds to 99. But it's a triple I am in its design. Go in symmetry from the inside out. And you, so when you say invincible, obviously the in is I am right at the front. And there's a pair of them. Um, and you can also get another... Wow. There's a lot of cool stuff in invincible. The three letters at the center of Bible is I am. Bang, bang, bang. Very nicely spaced. And then what's neat is the three letters left over add to 30 in a very beautiful way. The VA, VE makes 3 times 3 times 3, and the C is 3. So together, these three letters add to 30 very nicely. And then these... Three teams are very famous, 23s, in, in, and then this is actually in, in order, because a B plus an L is an N. Uh, but this is famous, for, very famous for another reason, and that's the, the I am at the dead center of the word Bible, in order. So there you go. Invince, invincible, the triune God. I am, I am, I am. Very nice, isn't it? But it's even more satisfying in my opinion. That as if that's pretty that's really awesome. But it's really satisfying to go in symmetry from the dead center outwards like we did. 17, flanked in threes, flanked in threes, flanked in 26, flanked in 14. All those offsets of threes from 26. And you when you say the word invincible, you really do the high point is the center. It's like a triangle. Most words, when you speak them, are actually like mountains. You go up and you come down. Like when you pronounce three glyph Hebrew roots, you go up. The the, the climax is in the center, and then you come down. Um, and even sound wave recordings of words, it's like your voice gets louder and then drops off. So invincible, 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 invincible. Up, down, you go. Up, down, you go invincible and so we do the symmetry we go to the center of a word <laughs> the high point <laughs> the I am invincible invince you can really drag out that invince there's your I am at the center invincible very cool so it behooves me to um Jesus did this all the time. It's, there's an actual word for it in the Bible where God structures his prophetic words going up and down, like the first thing parallels the last thing, and then it moves inwards like this. Uh, like the Beatitudes is what I'm thinking of, because the first and the, the last one have the same. So I'm curious as to what the center of two Beatitudes are. Like perhaps they are... Uh, the the coolest or the greatest or what have you something special there so I might look at that